Hello, welcome to Mowgli TV. Today we're going to talk about projection mapping. While projection mapping can be a very technical and daunting subject as a whole, it's actually quite accessible to start getting into and playing with the basics and the concepts of how it all works. I created this video mapping installation back in 2015 using Resolume Avenue. As you can see, it works perfectly fine and there is no need for any of the extra tools and advanced output found in Resolume Arena. Even Resolume itself on its own website states that projection mapping, as you can see here, is Arena only. Well, I'm afraid that's not true. As a matter of fact, when I started my adventures in projection mapping, the first thing I used was Photoshop. You don't actually need any special tools to do projection mapping. You just need to be creative. Obviously, there's limits to everything if you haven't got the right tools and the right tools opens up a load of possibilities. That doesn't mean that you need to have the most comprehensive set of tools to start doing projection mapping. As a matter of fact, all you really need to start doing projection mapping is a projector. So I'm going to break down how I built that project with the cubes. Uh, using no special tools other than an effect that's been included with Resolume for a very long time, which is Keystone. Let's dive into it. To prove what I'm saying, here is the project open in Resolume Avenue. I'm going to now go to Arena as it's the one I've got registered on this machine. So here is the project open in Resolume Arena. As you can see, there's quite a few layers here. It's basically one layer per side plus a few others that I'll go through in a second. So this installation was made to be sound reactive. So it was affected by any sound that was in the environment and all the graphics were generated 100% inside Resolume using the generative sources. This project started quite a few years ago and it was based on my Senoid audiovisual synthesizer. And at that point in time, Linescape was the only source that Resolume had. So that's what I used for this piece. Basically, what's happening is that I've got a base layer here, which is called the Linescape. So you've got all these video routers that are just replicating the source at the bottom. Uh, it's just being piped in through there. And then on the actual layers for those sides, and I stress this as quite an important part of the workflow, we just go to one of them. You'll see here that we've got the keystone on the layer rather than on the clip this is so because it'll save you a ton of work if you put the keystone in on the layer rather than on the clip it means that then you can add further clips down there and they will be distorted already according to the keystone settings so let's break this down if we go to this bottom layer that i've named source here i'm just going to solo that so basically that's what that layer is doing it's the linescape source and here, I've got a bunch of effects that I can switch on or off to change uh, the outcome of that line source. So let's see how this works. I've got the basic line scheme going into the cubes here. So if I do combinations of these, you can get all kinds of different effects mapped instantly onto the cubes. But that's not what this tutorial is about. This tutorial is about what happens with the layers. So if I just start switching layers off you'll see that there's a layer for each element that we've got here so starting with that panel and following with that panel etc the keystone allows you to distort any rectangular or square device so that you can adapt it to any perspective and that's exactly what we're doing here very handy thing to switch on while you're setting up your keystone is the show grid so if you show the grid there you go you can see the grid there let's do that for some of the other layers so you see the grid so as you can see it allows you to very accurately distort your video according to the cube. So once you're setting this up in real life, you can line them up perfectly with a physical cube once you've got the projector on. Now, the beauty of this system is that it allows you to use a single projector to do 
everything. And not only that, you have an overview of what it is that you're doing straight in your output. What you're seeing in your output is what you're projecting. This gives a lot of possibilities for doing video mapping installations where you don't want to be using your computer with Resolum once the installation is up and running. This allows you to record your output and then play it through a media player, a different computer, whatever it might be. Once you've done all your mapping, you can do a recording of the session and use that file to project through a different machine. I've done this lots of times with other installations in which I go in there, I set my mapping up using this kind of techniques and then I just use the final video to be played through a media player or any computer. Really, it doesn't need to be very powerful. You just play it straight up as long as you've done all your calculations of uh, resolution so that the resolution of your video matches the resolution of your projector and that your uh, player of choice is not doing any scaling whatsoever, this will work. Here are all the layers with their keystone show grid switched on so you can see how you can align everything perfectly if you want. Uh, I'll just do a little demonstration here. So you see you've got XY coordinates for each of the four corners. So basically you can position that whatever you need to. Once you're projecting, you've got the grid coming onto your real life cubes, then you can align this perfectly. And one thing to note is that once you adjust the corners, you can use the slider, you can use the plus or minus here, or you can do it numerically. So if you click on it, you'll see there's a bunch of decimal places. So if you want to be really, really spot on, you will probably have to get in there because the slider and the plus or minus will not give you accurate enough results for most circumstances. That's pretty much it really. I think the moral of the story here is that a lot of things are achieved through creativity. Just look at the tools you've got and see how you can use them to your best advantage. And as I said earlier, all you need for projection mapping is a project. Of course, using this technique has its limitations and uh, there's a lot of things that you could do if you had Arena or Mind Mapper. The point is don't feel limited because the official website for Resolume tells you that you can't do video mapping in Avenue because the answer is that you can. I'm actually planning to do a series of more in-depth tutorials, maybe one for this specific project with the cubes in which I really dig down into the nitty gritty of it all, how it all came together, how to set it up and how I actually made the cube structure out of readily available parts that are very lightweight and collapsible that you could even fly with if necessary. Uh, this content will be paid for and I'd like to gauge if there be any interest in this. So please let me know in the comments if this is something that will tickle your fancy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you find this useful. It really helps my channel. I hope to see you here next time.